in earlier sessions you saw the meaning of redundancy and its role in reducing a probability error we also briefly saw what is the usefulness of shannon statement or shannon's theorem where uh, in spite having a finite uh, bit rate we can still uh, possess uh, error free communication right so this session uh, is an extension uh, towards uh, 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 or exploring more about shannon's theorem uh, in particular uh, to this session uh, this uh, treatment is with respect to discrete memoryless channels so in upcoming sessions we'll uh, take the cases of continuous memoryless channel as well and we'll try to formulate shannon's theorem in a more uh, detailed fashion right uh, uh, so consider let's consider a discrete memoryless source so let's consider a source consider a source or we call it as a transmitter okay that generates a message that contains r symbols those symbols are x1 x2 up to xr okay the receiver receives the symbols let us represent these symbols as y1 y2 y s so there are s uh, symbols uh, which are received by uh, the receiver the set of symbols y k okay these symbols if i can call all these received symbols as set y k definitely uh, we can say that uh, these may or may not be equivalent to that of the transmitted symbol set okay those uh, the depending on this totally uh, the equivalency depends on the nature of the channel as well as the receiver okay. if you use uh, for example if you use an uh, optimum receiver so we'll understand more about what you mean by optimum receiver in uh, upcoming semester uh, as a part of uh, communication system 2 course but uh, that's a receiver uh, which uh, we call it as an optimum receiver uh, where uh, it can uh, uh, it can receive symbols which uh, can be uh, 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 decided or which can be decoded as uh, one of the transmitted symbols correctly okay so here uh, however we shall uh, treat in a more generic way where uh, we will uh, we'll put a constraint that the received set the received symbol set yk is not identical to that of the set uh, transmitted symbol xk okay uh, with that uh, we can also say, state that if the channel is noiseless if the channel is noiseless okay for a noiseless channel then the reception of some symbol yj uniquely determines the message transmitted obviously because there will be no corruption in the channel as the transmitted symbols pass through the channel definitely we can say that some symbol some yj uniquely determines the messages transmitted okay the messages transmitted okay but due to noise in the channel due to a noise in the channel okay however there is a certain amount of uncertainty regarding the transmitted symbol when yj is received Okay, because of the corruption uh, that exists in the channel noisy channel itself okay there will be uncertainty regarding regarding the transmitted symbol when these symbols are received when yj is received 
okay what what how do we represent uh, these uncertainties we have already seen that uh, uh, the information uh, has if it has got some uncertainty we can quantify that uncertainty um, uh, using the probability so we can say that the probability probability xi given yj this represents the conditional probability that this is the conditional probability okay that xi is transmitted okay when xi is transmitted sorry uh, conditional probability that xi is transmitted when given that yj is received okay so definitely this is the probability that is obtained after the reception of the symbol yj okay given that yj is received what is the probability that xi was transmitted from the transmitter end okay that's what uh, this represents since it happens after we receive uh, the symbol yj this is also called as a posterior probability okay more often we'll be using in digital communication system it's a reason we need to you know uh, define uh, in a in a special manner okay so uh, 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 this represents when uh, the yj symbol is received after receiving a uh, symbol yj uh, if we try to quantify the probability uh, that when xi was transmitted therefore the uncertainty involved in transmission okay therefore the uncertainty involved is which can be quantified that we have seen as it is inversely proportional to logarithmic of this probability probability x i given y j okay so right so this is the uncertainty involved in when yj is received uh, uh, when uh, if xi was transmitted from the transmitter end when this uncertainty is averaged over all xis and yjs if i try to average take average of uh, this uncertainty i can say that if this uncertainty averaged over all transmitted symbol set and the received symbol set we obtain average amount of uncertainty we have represented so far the average amount of uncertainty as h since it's a conditional uh, probability so and hence we can represent this as h of x given y is received and since it's an average quantity so we'll have to sum it over all transmitted and received symbols average in the sense denominator would be the sum of all the probabilities uh, uh, that uh, uh, that will, uh, that is nothing but you know mathematically unity and hence uh, the numerator uh, is summation over all i and j's probability of x i y j times logarithmic of 1 over probability of xi given yj okay this goes with the basic definition of the uh, entropy where uh, rep where it represented the average amount of information content per symbol and hence uh, this is also uncertainty uh, which is averaged over all uh, transmitted and received symbol set and hence this represents the uh, the amount of uncertainty involved in the transmission of the symbol xi and receiving the symbols yj 
and hence I can say that this is the amount of uh, information which has a unit of bits per symbol okay so uh, uh, obviously for noiseless channels this uncer uncertainty would be zero okay so for noiseless channel okay i can say that this uncertainty h of x given y would be zero because of the fact that because obviously from conceptual point of view we can say that there would be no uncertainty when there is no noise in the channel because we would be uh, we, uh, we can correctly uh, for at least for you know most of the uh, received symbols we can uh, correctly decode it as what actually was transmitted from the transmitter end uh, however uh, in in spite uh, you know, of conceptual you know uh, understanding we can also mathematically say that uh, the probability involved or the uncertainty involved here is the probability of xi given yj in case of no noise in the channel this probability could be zero of one correct so there could be no uh, you know uh, reception of the uh, symbol which can be matched uh, from yj to xi or there could be perfectly matched uh, you know uh, yj to xi okay there could be two extremes of this probability uh, say for uh, uh, probability xi given yj when it is one obviously log of one over uh, you know this quantity would be uh, zero and hence we can say that directly this entropy would be i can say that this implies that log of one over p of xi given yj would be zero so this implies that there would be no uncertainty involved However, for when probability of this uh, uh, uncertainty in terms of probability when it is zero, we know that from the basic definition of probability, we know that probability of the mutual probability or the joint probability p of x i comma y j that we know it as due to, uh, from the product rule. So this is x i given y j, where this second part of the uh, product is zero and hence uh, uh, the, this probability will also tend to zero this implies when the joint probability is zero since it is summed over a p of x i comma y j for all combinations of i and j so this also implies that there would be no uncertainty involved okay so for uh, noiseless channel this is straightforward that there would be no uncertainty at all so i can say that there would be I can say that no uncertainty. All right. So the problem with the noise which exists for a noisy channel. All right. So in that case, obviously the uncertainty h of x given y uh, uh, will be uh, something you know a, 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 a non-zero value or a positive quantity uh, which represents the average loss of information about a transmitted symbol when a symbol is received. Okay. And hence, this h of x y represents. I can write this as h of x given y. This represents average loss of information about. A transmitted symbol when a symbol is received. Okay, so this also called as since it involves a conditional probability, this is also called as conditional. entropy all right so where uh, this condition entropy is where x is given uh, uh, sorry when x is transmitted given y uh, we can find out uh, by taking average of all the transmitted and received symbols and uh, obtain uh, uh, this uncertainty also called as you know conditional entropy okay so note that 
we also should note that there is a probability uh, uh, like you know a priori probability sorry a, a posteriori probability that we have defined where you know uh, when yj is received what is the probability that xi was transmitted similar to that we can uh, we can have uh, a reverse case where uh, we can also quantify a uh, you know, probability as yj given xi which we call it as which we call it as a priori probability okay so where probability in other order y j given x i so this represents a conditional probability uh, when y uh, when uh, uh, y j is received when x i was transmitted okay so this represents the conditional probability that conditional probability when yj is received given that xi is transmitted okay so this is the reverse where in prior uh, uh, if you can quantify the probability where uh, uh, before even uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the transmitter end when xi uh, 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 given that xi that's going to uh, you know uh, being transmitted from the transmitter end what's the probability that uh, it could be received as yj at the receiver end since uh, this is the uh, you know prior information uh, before the transmission or before the reception itself and hence this probability is called as a priori probability okay these are the two conditional probabilities which uh, you know we are going to use uh, uh, extensively in digital communication system all right this also characterizes the given channel okay so this has an importance in characterizing the channel okay where we can write a channel matrix as okay a channel matrix which has a composition of all these conditional probabilities okay so if i can call all the columns as say inputs and all the rows as say outputs right so say all these inputs that are transmitted from the transmitter end to the channel we know that these are represented by x1 x2 up to say xr and all the outputs that we have we can represent them as y1 y2 up to ys so these are transmitter symbols okay these are all transmitted symbols or the outputs of the channel if these uh, represent uh, uh, respectively inputs and outputs then the channel matrix can be written as this the probability when y1 is received when x1 is transmitted this is the probability when y2 is received when x1 was transmitted and so on up to when ys is received and x1 was transmitted and similarly with the second row y1 given x2 probability of y2 given x2 probability of ys and given x2 and so on up to probability of y1 when xr was transmitted when y2 is received given that xr was transmitted and what is the probability of yr when xr was transmitted so this matrix is known as the channel matrix which completely describes what kind of 
the channel it is okay so if we are uh, given the channel information or for a known channel or for the if the channel to be mod, uh, 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 mathematically modeled then we should have the information of all these conditional probabilities okay so uh, given uh, a priori probability we can calculate or we can obtain a posteriori pro conditional probability uh, using simple bayes rule okay i can say that using bayes rule a posteriori probabilities can be computed all right because the channel uh, uh, is the a priori probabilities from which we can obtain using now uh, we can obtain posterior probabilities using simple bayes rule that we that you are already aware of where a posterior probability is given as when yj is received uh, uh, if xi was transmitted i can write this as probability of yj given xi times probability of xi over probability of yj which we can further represent can be represented as probability of yj given xi times probability of xi probability of yj can be written as it's a probability summed over all i's with a joint probability probability of xi comma yj so this is that you know this is the marginal probability definition okay so this can still be you know written as therefore probability of xi given yj which is a a posterior probability which can be there is a meaning of representing in this fashion over since this can be written as probability of xi times probability of yj given xi again using the product rule all right so this means that the last expression that i have written okay this implies that if the input probabilities which are represented by p of xi and the channel matrix and if the channel is known the channel matrix which is in the form of a priori probability which is probability of yj given xi then if these two information are known to us obviously uh, from the transmitter end uh, uh, we can definitely compute what would be uh, the probability of transmitted symbols what is the probability of each transmitted symbol and for a given channel or if the channel can be modeled then we can obtain the posterior conditional probabilities then we can obtain the a posterior probabilities okay these are the probabilities with which the receiver has to uh, rightly detect what is the actual transmitted symbol okay this uh, 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 actually gives you know good amount of information to play around uh, for the receiver so we'll have we'll be exploring more about uh, these uh, posterior probabilities uh, uh, when we discuss uh, 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 in detail about the optimum receivers in communication system 2 course okay all right so for a noise free channel uh, as i repeat the average amount of information would be okay so this is an important part okay so for a noiseless channel 
say for an ISS channel, we know that we have defined this earlier. H of X represents the average amount of information received okay so which we also called as entropy of the source okay so this we call it as entropy of the source per received symbol okay because for a noise less channel obviously there would be no corruption uh, when uh, uh, any symbol is transmitted and hence uh, the entropy of the source is equivalent to the average amount of information received by the receiver as well okay due to channel noise okay due to channel noise obviously this information which is supposed to be received by the receiver will be few amount of information uh, out of this would be lost okay so due to channel noise we have represented that loss of information as h of x given y as conditional entropy which represented for the sake of you know clarity i'll write again this is the average amount what we have written earlier so this is average loss of information okay we have i'll just stick to the same definition of that average loss of information information about transmitted symbol right okay so h of x represent rep represents the uh, actual you know amount of information uh, that needs to be received uh, by the receiver uh, when there is no noise now due to noise in the channel there is some amount of information that is lost due to the noise and uh, uh, the actual no actual amount of information that is to be received by the receiver subtracted with the loss of information gives a new quantity which which we call as which you call this as mutual information okay so mutual information can be defined as it is represented as i of x semicolon y as i said this is the difference of the source entropy and the conditional entropy okay obviously since it's a information this is number of bits per each symbol okay all right so we know that we already know that uh, the definition of h of x we know that h of x that we have defined earlier in earlier sessions as this is average amount of information since there are i symbols uh, uh, the uh, sorry this, this is there are r symbols so we have to take average amount of uncertainty involved in all those uh, you know messages uh, while transmission then this can be written as probability of x i log one over probability of x i okay so this is uh, the uh, um, uh, the source entropy itself all right so also uh, we have the definition of h of x given y so if i if i can you know give some equations to this so if i can call this as equation 3 as equation 2 and the definition of the conditional entropy as equation number 1 then I can say that I can substitute these equations 1 and 3 into 2. Okay. 
substituting one add three into we would get i of x y as summation i is the source entropy p of x i logarithmic of 1 over p of x i okay minus the conditional entropy which is summed over all transmitted and received message symbols with the joint probability log of 1 over probability of xi given yj okay so with this we can you know, simplify this expression by knowing a fact since we have we can define using marginal probability definition where the joint probability when it is summed over all j then this is the marginal probability of the source p of x i itself okay again using the uh, you know, marginal probability definition using that i can replace p of x i into this expression so which would give me summation i summation j replacing p of x i with this definition you can say that this is x i comma y j log 1 over p of x i minus summation i summation j probability of x i comma y j log 1 over p of x i given y j the terms which are common which can be pulled out summation i summation j the joint probabilities p of x i comma y j right by using simple uh, logarithmic rule log a minus log b is log a by b since a negative sign there so this would be probability of x i given y j or probability of x i all right so again using you know base rule i can rewrite this expression as logarithmic of p of x i uh, uh, given y j can be rewritten as x i comma y j over probability of x i times probability of y j this is because of the fact that that you know because probability of x i comma y j is or can be written as probability of x i given y j times probability of y j all right so just rearranging the terms i can replace this probability of x i given y j with this you know uh, uh, you know a small mathematical adjustments so this implies that probability of x i given y j is probability of x i y j over probability of y j all right so uh, this rearrangement is uh, due to the fact that we were just want to write with uh, the right side uh, expression with the known quantities the known quantities being the uh, the transmitted uh, uh, symbol uh, probabilities and uh, 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 obviously uh, the channel matrix all right so using base rule we can rewrite this as again using base rule we can write this mutual information as summation i j right so this can be rewritten as probability of x i comma j y j 
logarithmic of probability of yj given xi okay divided by probability of yj because of the fact that okay i can write here here itself because again the same you know base rule principle that we know that probability of yj given xi times probability of xi is probability of x i comma yj all right so if i write if i replace this probability of xi comma yj with this you know two products uh, the denominator pre probability of xi gets cancelled and uh, we'll get in such form okay so finally we can you know uh, substitute the uh, the uh, uh, the definition of a posterior probability as therefore i of x y as summation i summation j this as that we know probability of xi times probability of yj given xi and logarithmic of probability of yj given xi whole divided by since this is a marginal probability we can write as summation over all i's the joint probabilities x y x i comma y j times probability sorry probability of x i times probability of y j given x i would give me the definition of probability of y j which is your marginal probability so this final expression is in terms of the input symbol probabilities p of x i and the channel matrix okay so this implies that the mutual information that we have defined in the above equation is a function of can say that is function of input symbol probabilities p of x i and the channel matrix okay. okay with these known quantities we can define the mutual information which is the information that is actually received by the receiver due to the uh, the loss of information uh, in the channel itself due to a noisy channel okay so the unit of uh, information uh, uh, that we have defined as mutual information uh, is a uh, since by definition it is the average amount of information received per symbol transmitted so uh, i can say that uh, this is is in fact mutual information is nothing but average amount of amount of information received per symbol transmitted okay okay so which will have units of bits per symbol so unit of this would be since it's per symbol so this is shall have units of bits per symbol okay if we use binary digits at the input then the symbol is obviously a binary digit and the unit of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, mutual information i of x semicolon y are bits per per binary digit okay so uh, since we can quickly verify that okay since i of x y is symmetrical with respect to x and y that is i of x y is equivalent to i of y x since i of x y we have defined it as h of x minus h of x given y i of y 
colon uh, semicolon x can be written as h of y minus h of y given x right so we can alternatively define the mutual information uh, with respect to uh, the uh, the uh, entropy at the receiver end as well and with respect to uh, 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 the a priori a priori probabilities as well all right so the quantity h of y given x this is a conditional entropy of y given x and is the average uncertainty about the received symbol when the transmitted symbol is known all right so this is the actual it's a uncertainty involved in when uh, uh, y is uh, uh, you know uh, when x is given and uh, when y is received okay so this is the average uncertainty i can say that this is the average uncertainty about the received symbol okay when the transmitted symbol is known which is the unusual case because we will not be having the information of you know what actually been transmitted from the transmitter end so when the transmitted symbol is known okay okay so and hence we can rewrite uh, this expression as as the left hand side would be this def is a definition of the original definition of mutual information which is h of x minus h of x given y which is equivalent to h of y minus h of y given x okay all right so it is clear that uh, this mutual information is a function of a uh, transmitted symbol probabilities and the channel matrix as i had uh, written earlier right so for a given channel so if the channel is known for a given channel okay for a given or known channel this mutual information will be maximum for few sets of transmitted probabilities which we had are represented as probability of x because of the reason that the mutual information is function of only the transmitted probabilities and the channel now the only variable for a given channel for a known channel for a fixed channel the only variable here would be the transmitted probabilities say there would be uh, you know there would be two per i combinations if you are using uh, you know binary uh, bits uh, at the transmitter end uh, binary scheme then for all those you know uh, possible combinations of all these probabilities there would exist one such combination or there could be more than one combinations for which you know the mutual information i of x uh, semicolon y would be maximum okay so, and we call such combination for which we obtain uh, uh, mutual information we call such quantity as the capacity uh, the channel capacity per symbol okay so this is the definition of channel capacity per symbol so the suffix s represents this is the capacity per symbol and hence this is the maximum for few sets of you know a combination of transmitted probabilities p of x i the information that is received the mutual information that represents uh, the information received at the receiver end in a noisy channel okay and hence this is represented with a unit of bits per symbol all right so because we have allowed the channel input to choose any symbol probabilities p of x i cs 
which is a uh, channel capacity per symbol represents the maximum information that can be transmitted by one symbol over the channel okay so remember this is the channel capacity which represents the maximum information okay i can say that this represents maximum information that can be transmitted by one symbol over the channel over the noisy channel or you can say in general simply the channel okay so this is the only maximum amount of information that can be transmitted by the transmitter end okay so that has a limit so the transmitter cannot send uh, any amount of information per symbol but that is upper bounded by the channel capacity uh, uh, you know as represented by this this will be more clear when we take you know specific uh, you know cases of uh, the nature of the channel and the nature of the receiver as well so uh, to conclude uh, this session uh, i'll just you know uh, 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 note few you know important points about uh, uh, since we have defined the channel so we can define a quantity you know few quantities which has such as channel capacity per second okay so the channel capacity cs that we have defined just uh, above gives the maximum possible information transmitted with one symbol or with one digit okay if k symbols are employed at the transmitter okay for k symbols okay for k symbols transmitted transmitted per second since it's a uh, you know, capacity of the channel which represents the information per symbol if there are k symbols per second then the maximum rate of transmission of information per second is then maximum rate of information In fact, this is transmission of information. So this is at the transmitter end. Transmission of information. Per second. We represent it as simply as C as K times CS okay so this represents the capital c represents the channel capacity when uh, per second when uh, k amount of symbols are transmitted you know over uh, over a second okay so channel capacity is a property of a you know particular physical you know channel over which the information is transmitted okay so channel capacity is in fact is you know conceptually we can think a channel capacity as okay so it is a property of a particular physical channel that we consider it's a property of the medium all right so this is true provided the term channel is correctly understood okay so uh, in other words a channel means not only the transmission medium okay this has the information it has it composes it comprises the information about the medium okay this is very critical to understand the meaning of a channel capacity so it uh, it not only comprises the information about the medium okay which uh, uh, actually 
uh, includes the specifications of the kind of signals uh, like you know it could be binary it could be any mre uh, or it could be orthogonal signals in ofdm cases or it could be simplex or duplex uh, based on what kind of transmission uh, that you are going to adopt uh, 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 in the uh, you know as a channel so this is actually uh, uh, characterized by whether uh, uh, the uh, the kind of signals i can say that is handled by the channel okay this represents the kind of signals but all uh, uh, this also includes uh, uh, the uh, the information about the receiver as well okay this also includes the uh, the information about the kind of receiver that we employ okay so because of the channel matrix that we have defined as a priori probabilities uh, even uh, if the, the channel is noiseless uh, we incur uh, probably we may uh, incur certain amount of errors uh, in correctly decoding because that goes with what kind of receiver that we are going to employ at the receiver end if it's an optimum receiver and if it is a noiseless channel that's an, uh, definitely the ideal condition that we expect but that uh, is not you know practically true as you know okay so the kind of receiver by which i mean this determines the kind of receiver determines the error probability okay okay so the channel capacity comprises of all such channels okay, that should be understood in a in a very you know correct fashion okay as so a change in the receiver uh, if i change the receiver then obviously uh, if i change the receiver or the signal power or the noise power uh, uh, will definitely will influence the channel matrix as well okay so for change in the receiver if i change the receiver to some other type or signal power or it could be noise power okay if i change any of these quantities obviously that will change that will result in channel matrix and hence the channel capacity okay that's been the influencing factor about uh, uh, the parameter that we have defined just now okay so how to measure this channel capacity uh, the uh, uh, the channel capacity as we have understood that this is a maximum value of h of x minus h of x given y okay so naturally okay naturally this okay cs that we are represented as channel capacity per symbol which uh, is obviously is less than or equal to maximum of h of x because of the fact that h of x given y is always be greater than or equal to zero right so uh, this is a conditional entropy which is going to be a positive quantity and we know that uh, the mutual information is h of x minus h of x given y and obviously uh, this will be uh, the quantity the difference would be uh, definitely lesser than h of x and uh, we take the maximum mutual information uh, to to define the channel capacity per symbol and obviously this is less than or equal to the source entropy itself okay so h of x is the average information per input symbol okay and hence this uh, channel capacity cs is always less than or equal to the maximum average information per input symbol if we use binary symbols at the input the maximum value of h of x that we know is 1 bit so binary which will take just you know bit 1 or you know 1 or uh, bit 1 or bit 0 already it could be just you know h of x could be uh, which which represents the average amount of information per symbol which is 1 bit okay and obviously cs would be less than or equal to 
1 where p of x1 uh, if for a uh, equi probability uh, binary symbols uh, p of x1 and p of x2 could be ha half and obviously the binary channel uh, cs uh, uh, which uh, represents uh, uh, the channel capacity would be less than or uh, equal to 1 bit per binary digit in general i can say in general okay cs is less than or equal to 1 r are unit per symbol if it is binary then it would be simply 1 bit uh, uh, per symbol right so this would be uh, uh, the nature of measuring uh, the channel capacity okay so this is with respect to uh, the discrete memoryless channel uh, in the next session we will pick up the continuous memory channel and we will try to elaborate more on uh, the shannon's uh, statement or shannon's theorem and uh, we will try to uh, define in a similar fashion the channel capacity in a continuous channel